Hey, this is Richard Tool Light Pools. Uh, hey, today we're uh, going to look at a uh, portable vacuum unit that I made. Uh, you can get these online for, you know, I had, uh, uh, you can get a Tomcat um, or you can get some other portable units. They're like, uh, uh, you know, sixteen, eighteen hundred dollars $1,800. Uh, and I built this one out of a extra pump that I had and then I ordered the filter cartridge uh, And I made this one for about and then uh, Made my own little dolly rack thing that I made this one for about 300 um, But if you get the individual parts different, you know uh, If you have to buy the individual parts well, it costs you more than 300 But uh, I'll show you how I set it up uh, and then also bought a little ramp uh, that I put it on the back of my truck So I'll I'll show you that as well all right, this is the portable vacuum unit that I built. Um, and so basically uh, what you have here is I have a one and a half horsepower North Star pump. Um, that's an in-ground pump. I wanted some, you know, I want more suction than, it, than an above-ground pool pump. So if you get like a, you have a pool pump, like a dynamo, or something like that, those are above-ground pool pumps. They're not self-priming. An in-ground pump is self-priming. So if you think about it, the above ground pool pumps, the, the, it's always coming straight out of the side of the pool, straight down to the front of the pump. That's, that's what, why. Because it's not a self-priming pump. So if you're going to build a portable vacuum unit, I would suggest you use an in-ground type self-priming pool pump. This, I use this on commercial pools. This is a 200 square foot uh, cartridge filter that I did, uh, ordered online. It's pool line. Uh, it's just some generic brand of single cartridge filter, 200 square foot uh, filter. So I use this for commercial pools. There's one uh, Motel 6 commercial pool that we have that gets a lot of dirt blown in from the road and it works great to be able to vacuum up and I'm basically cycling that water right through this cartridge filter and then right back into the pool. So as you see, uh, I've got my suction coming in here. This is just a, a connection where I can put my vacuum hose on the front. That is an above ground pool uh, connection type hose uh, adapter. And so it fits nicely to go right on uh, the, the vacuum hose. That goes inside my vacuum hose. My vacuum hose goes over it. I have a um, I have a check valve here so that I can fill this up and it's not continuing to go out. Uh, so I put a check valve here. Every now and then, you you may have to take this off because when you're vacuuming up, you know hair and stuff gets caught around there and messes with that flapper. May or may not need a uh, check valve, but I decided to put one on there. Uh, you know, this part comes. I just I just take this off when I'm transporting it, and then I just screw that right there on with the union on the front of the North Star. And then I'm going to come straight out of it, go into my filter and then it's going to go straight out. I did put a valve here, even though I don't really use that. They uh, I saw somebody say that uh, that there's a you can adjust the flow at, through the system by that right there. You can crank that down a little bit as it's discharging. So you're vacuuming stuff out of the pool, it's filtering it, and then right back, the water's going right back into the pool. If you have a situation also, which I'm going to show you, I'm going to do that today. If you have a situation where you have so much stuff in the bottom of the pool, so much dirt, dead algae, that kind of stuff, uh, then you can flock the pool, get it to the bottom, and then you can just take the cartridge filter out and then vacuum this straight to waste. Attach some hoses on the end of your pipe and then go straight to waste. And then, basically, I just put strap material down here. This is just a, do a regular dolly that I put on the bottom and I just put strap material around it to hold it onto the dolly. Okay, you see how I'm doing that? Um, and then I, these are these are like little L rack brackets that you can get at uh, Harbor Freight. And then I, I basically drilled through the dolly and then put that on there as a base and then I can attach my filter on there but then also have like a strap around here while I'm transporting it. I put another put another one of those right here because uh, I had had that on there already for transporting my power vac so I basically used the same rack uh, and then just sort of converted it to to use it on this filter and it's kind of it's kind of nice where it just sort of holds in between the filter here um, but nevertheless I did put some strapping material here on there so it's not gonna 
fly off or something I put some put a little bit of insulation here so it's uh, as we're transporting it you know it wants to bang up against that so no big deal uh, but anyway that's how that looks and then I'll show you the uh, oh I set the pump to you know obviously you're gonna set it to 115 volts and then I just put uh, I just got a regular I don't know with this six eight foot uh, power plug so if you're at a at a, a residence or you're at a hotel or something if you're using any any kind of outdoor plug then it's going to be outdoor garage plugs or outside plugs are all going to be GFI protected and so you can you can plug straight into those and you're GFI protected it's, you don't have to I did not decide to mount uh, a particular GFI plug or something onto the unit if I'm plugging into something outdoors it's going to be GFI protected anyway at least that's the code in Texas uh, and so I didn't have to worry about that. Um, that's I just used a regular plug, put the pump on 115 volts, and then just wire it direct into the back of the pump here. Uh, and then I'm ready to plug up uh, whenever I get to the where I'm going to vacuum. Uh, this is the ramp that I've got at the back of my truck here. So I got a ramp. All right, that's the unit uh, when it's on the back of the truck here. It's got that little ramp section comes up uh, and then I bungee it to the uh, back of, of the ramp here and uh, I just I basically bungee it real good on the front side because if you're going down the highway if you're, it, then then you don't want this uh, you don't want this to be coming this direction uh, because of the wind uh, resistance on it um, you know so just bungee it real good secure it however uh, with straps, however you want to do it, that's up to you. Uh, this is the way that I do it, secure it onto this one. And here's a Motel 6 pool that I'm back in. They've been shut down for several months because of COVID-19 stuff. I brushed that off the other day, off the step, but then there's so much, uh, just, just, I don't even know what all this is. This is uh, right here by the highway, so they get a lot of dirt blown in off the highway. You can see it kind of over there. did turn green at, at one point in the last several months and then they probably put a bunch of cheap shock in here trying to get it turned around but this stuff is just thick but you see you've got plenty of suction I've got it hooked up right here and I'm just uh, discharging it right here into the parking lot got plenty of suction to go right out uh, I've got an extension cord over here and, uh, and, and so just run extension cord over here and then plug it in and then you know after you've already put all the water in the hose and then I filled my pump basket and then boom it's up and going and then I'll finish vacuuming the rest of this pool but that's that's that portable vacuum unit uh, correction on the size of the filter it's 120 square foot uh, filter I kept saying 200 but I checked it. it's 120 square foot filter but on something this thick I would never run it through the filter you just go ahead and vacuum it straight to waste you're getting it straight out of the pool into the parking lot, some some are in grass, wherever. Uh, and then you got a nice looking pool after it's all done. Look at the difference. There's just so much stuff right there. Look at that. And all of that junk is going straight out to straight out the waste. There's no way that all of this stuff that you could vacuum it up into a filter, especially even on the sand filter, uh, yeah, you wouldn't do that. You'd try to vacuum it to waste through the through the system. This one I'm just going attaching it to a hose, going over the fence, and then going out the front This is the second one for a six pool. And there's so much it's just like dirt. We vacuumed with the power pack last week and just stirred up everything so bad. Had a lot of yellow algae and stuff in there. And that, so I put some clock in the to put it, make it go to the bottom. And then this is just, it's just uh, so much real fine dirt and stuff. And, uh, 
able to back in this out straight to waste and, and then look how nice and cool it's happening. So this is uh, definitely worth it to build yourself a commercial uh, portable vacuum unit. Uh, and, and you know, we and on this pool, because it gets a lot of blow in dirt from the road, uh, then we use this every few weeks to vacuum it out with the with the filter cartridge in it. So it vacuums it up real nice with some, uh, when, when you only have a couple of weeks worth of dirt. This is, the pool's been down, you know, not being used for months. Uh, and so it hasn't been vacuumed out in months. So this is months worth of corn and dirt and all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, and it's just so much, you got to vacuum this great place. So thanks. See you next time.